A huge shout out to my awesome tier 3 members, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, and Matthew Hall. Thank you very much for your support, it means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days That I, Darkness Falls Mod. So last episode, we got really, really lucky and got ourselves a mining helmet, which means nighttime, we are going to be doing some looting. It says here, craft armor, but I can't, or leather armor, because you need tailoring workbench. Ooh, tailoring workbench. That is under workbench's skill, which means it's under... Which one? That's skills, these are perks. Workbenches, workbenches. This over here. Tool crafting level one. Tool crafting, tool craft. I'm gonna have to get used to all of this stuff again. So tool crafting is in the beginning over here. You do that. Then you go to the back where workbenches are and you do that. It's unlocked under workbench level two, it seems. Okay, what do you need for level two? Uh workbench, workbench, level two. Tool crafting level two. So at least our tools are gonna be better <laughs> quality right now. But I haven't leveled up at all. Wait, this requires play level 10. So at the moment, we won't be even be able to do the level armor thing because we're not even the uh, right level yet. Level 1. Oh, we are leveling so slowly. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do is just go hit up a ton of houses, level up as much as possible, and hope for the best. If I can find a working workbench, but I doubt that's possible. I think in Alpha 20, all of them is broken. You have to make your own. Okay, um, I'm going to keep these on me. The leather I'll drop for now. I really thought I might be able to make myself some leather armor, but unfortunately, you need a tailor workbench. And to do the tailor workbench, you need workbenches. And to do workbenches, you need this. To do this, you need to be doing it. It's locked behind, 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 behind. But I remember, you have to go for all of these. You have to max them out. And there's also, if you repair stuff, guys, it actually loses durability. So say, for example, something's uh, quality 14. You repair it, it loses 5, and it turns to quality 9. So the more you repair stuff, except, for example, these beginning things. Uh, what I mean by that is, it doesn't matter if you repair these because they're so low level, it really doesn't matter at all. Yeah, for now, we'll put the wood away, we'll keep these, and we'll lock two. Okay, so the problem right now is it's getting dark. We need to go looting, we need to level up. I thought, after everything we've been through so far, that we've already leveled up at least once. And it seems that is not the case at all. We're literally only busy with this one right now, so we can actually toggle it. Active or inactive, doesn't matter. We don't, uh, for now, I'm actually going to toggle it inactive, so it's not on the screen bothering us. But basically, we just have to focus on getting this done. Um, I am going to see, though... Just check this. Where are we going to go? Are we turning left or are we turning right? Since we've done the camp already, let's turn left. I'm going to do the outskirts. Okay, you just know there's going to be dogs here, so man, be careful. The problem is, what counts as outskirts... <laughs> This building over here or this building over here? What's this? See, technically, this is also the outskirts. It makes it hard to decide which ones you want to loot right now. Either way, we just need to level up as much as possible. If I'm not mistaken, there is going to be a zombie dog over here, so I have to be careful. On the porch over there. And then in Alpha 20, sometimes by just piles like this, there's also dogs and stuff. So we have to be so super careful right now. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a... Uh, I could guy here as well, right? Last episode. Hello. Those zombies are stuck. They're too dumb to move. Nice. We could go kill them for the XP, but I'm not going to drown myself trying to kill them. If they come out somehow, we'll face them. But if they're just going to stay there, I'm not going to do anything. Ooh, there's a dog kennel over there. Usually a dog kennel means a dog. We'll probably first kill these zombies over here and then worry about the dogs. There might be one, might not be one. I don't want to take a chance though. I've noticed, even if it doesn't set them alight, this... Uh, what do you call it? This torch actually does quite a bit of damage to the zombies. Oh, I didn't bring any of my tools with me. I, I have a uh, scrap pick that you can actually uh, repair with iron. And I have a scrap fire axe as well. It actually does more damage in this tool. So I think after we loot this place, we're quickly going to go get it. We're going to have the proper tools on us, so it's just easier getting through things. Ah, oh, there's a doghouse over here. No dogs, as far as I can see. Imagine the dog just only now spawned in. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh, there you go. 
And so if the dog's actually sleeping inside the kennel, that's going to be bad. Imagine all of a sudden a dog just attacks you from inside. Okay, so we have looted all of the stuff outside. Time to go inside. Oh, vulture. I hate vultures. Did I set him a light? Nope. Ooh, that worked. Thank you for the bones. Or rather, thank you for the feathers. More than the bones. Forget the bones. Okay, I am already encumbered, guys. We'd have to make ourselves that tiny doing workbench as soon as possible. But for that, we have to be level over level 10. And I don't see us leveling up that fast. It feels like we're leveling up really, really slowly. Okay, nice, 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 nice. There's a ton of zombies at the back over there. So as soon as there's a kennel over here, that means there's going to be a dog inside. There has to be. But where that dog is, though, is going to be the problem. I want to do this. Come on. I want to do this. I want to make this shape so we can see the dog. Okay, well, they didn't come out to us. That's fine. I'll be quickly handle these ones. Should be able to do this. Just bleed them. I wonder if when they bleed out, we get XP or not. Does it count that we bled them out? Or do we have to do the final blow? So I'm not seeing any XP pop up, but I'm not sure if we're supposed to see any XP. Okay, there's a ton of zombies. Nice thing is it seems like we're going to level up fast. Bad thing is... Oh yeah, apparently this texture needs to be reworked or just fixed. Because sometimes it just looks all black or something and there's something wrong with his texture. Ooh, stamina. I think, if I'm not mistaken, these zombies don't aggro. Which for us is going to be a really good thing. Because right now we can't afford for zombies to aggro. In vanilla, for example, if you hit a zombie and his health gets too low, he starts getting angry and attacks you. Okay, stamina, get back, stamina, get back. Just in case there's a dog inside of here. Nice. Okay, so I don't mind getting stuck in a place like this because we should be able to relatively quickly clear out this place. I want to make sure that when we're inside places like this, we clear out everything. You never know what's going to be important later on. Although the fact that we're encumbered again really does bother me. Let's just do this quickly. I should probably make sure that we have most stuff on a tool belt. Oh, we need to get ourselves some healing. We are going to die and we won't be able to heal ourselves at all. Nice, 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 nice. A girl. Oh, a beaker. That was a really good find just now. I wonder if there's something around the corner. See, this is why I need a fire axe, but the fire axe also requires way more stamina. On one hand, it's actually way better just using a stone axe like this. Oh, I am so happy I checked. Please, 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 please give me a gun. I need a weapon. Okay, weapon parts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pistol? Okay, now, uh, pistol parts, yes. But two parts so far. That was a good find. That was actually a really good find. Not great or epic, but that was really, really good. I think we should rather just crouch over here and see if we hear something outside. If we uh, make too much noise over here standing up... We have armor schematic, thank you. AK schematic. If we make too much noise standing up, the zombies will come for... Oh, you can pick these up. The zombies will come for you. And, uh, like I said, I don't mind being stuck in this place because you can easily defend and fall back to the next room. But in the same, uh, the same breath, you also don't want to get stuck in here. And this mosquito is bothering the hell out of me. You don't want to get stuck in here and then there's like a whole horde outside. Because then you're going to have to use Molotovs, but there's no saying, there's no guarantee you're going to kill all the zombies. And remember guys, you can, in this mod, climb through one by one. But since Alpha 20, zombies can do that now as well, so... You have to be very, very careful when you do stuff. You can't just put a... I used to, when we go to the bunker, the big bunker, do that so the zombies can get me. I crawl underneath and we can kill the zombies. But now they can crawl underneath as well, so we will have a problem. Oh yeah, I forgot. This actually gives you scrap polymers as well. Quite a bit as well, uh, as far as I remember. 
Okay, so the zombies we do need to kill, but for now we'll just we'll spare them. We'll show them mercy. I don't want to go down there and shoot arrows and stuff, and it's gonna be weaker since it's in water. Okay, so the first things first, we need to go back and drop the stuff. The problem is for now, until we get our medium backpack, guys, we're gonna to have to make either drop chests, or we're constantly just gonna to have to run back to the base and drop stuff off. Either way, it's not really that bad, but I mean, we do want to just keep on looting. I think as soon as we have a bicycle or something like that, we should be okay. Well, in that case, I think we're going to have to buy a bicycle, because I don't know. If, <laughs> the, the way we're leveling right now, I might want to put the XP level to like 125 or 150 or something. But in the same breath, we don't want to level too fast, because then we get demonic zombies faster. Well, uh, oh, I wonder if you still get coil, yeah, coil rounds. Um, coil weapons are still, hopefully, the best weapons in the game. Okay, do we have cash over here? I just wanna do this quickly. How may I serve you? You reset day six. Five days. That's actually a lot. Uh splint, but nothing else. Damn, I hoped you'd actually have some. Good day. Oh, that's bad. I thought she might actually have like a bandage or two, because if we get hurt, we need to be able to heal. Okay, so there's one cooking pot. There is the beaker, and then also this one. We have all three items. Nice. That was actually a really lucky find just now. Okay, food gone. That's resources, that's food. I want one of each item, so I mustn't just scrap stuff. Okay, resources go over there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to make ourselves some more arrows. That's 26. We need three more... Oh, so I wonder if I put it over here. No, we don't have sticks over there. We need three more sticks. I'll just do this. And then sharp stone. We need 26. Okay, the rest of the stuff for now we can just put away because we don't need all the stuff on us. Since it's nighttime, guys, we might just get a ton of zombies on us now. So I really hope we don't lose the trader this early on. That's resources. Miscellaneous. Okay, so these are... Wait, what's this? Scrap iron... Oh, crossbow bolts. We don't use that. We can actually scrap it for iron. I want to see what's a VR. There's definitely a zombie walking around this place. I need to be careful. If we make too much noise, they're just going to come for us straight off the bat. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do this. If we have some iron, we can actually go and repair these. Now we can make some arrows as well. The more arrows we have, the better. Stone arrow. Yes, there you go. Can I see it? Okay, if I can kill you with a... Arrow that's gonna help tremendously. Yes. Okay, yeah, I just don't want to attract too much attention. That's why I turned my light off just now. Uh, we need to get going though. I can't afford to just stay here. Okay, so we don't need wood. I'm gonna put the wood away. Wait, what? There's still 25 feathers. Did I miscalculate this? Did I put sticks away just now? Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, I, I miscalculated. I need 13 more sticks. I don't know how I could have done that so badly. I think it's to do with the fact that some get doubled and stuff, and I, that confused me just now for a moment. Okay, anyways, resources drop. We keep this. That's ammo on us. Uh, the torch can't break, which is awesome. We still just need these two, and then we make ourselves some stone arrows. Boom. Hello? Oh, what's that? It's a radiated zombie, right? There's a wolf zombie. Guys, the fact that there's already radiated guys walking around like this, that's scary. I could lure them to the trade over here, but am I going to be able to kill that? If I can lure them in a circle, we might be able to throw a Molotov. Just please don't tell me that guy's fast. Okay, so that's radiated, right? Decaying radiated skater zombie. Yeah, I should probably just kill that wolf quickly. Come on, I want to kill the wolf. I want the meat in the morning. What the hell? Okay, uh, that's going to be bad if he comes for me. Oh crap, he's coming for me. Come on, it's damaging. Even if they kill it, it's fine. I just need the meat. Okay, 
Okay. Um, what are you? Failed? What? Prepper. Oh, he's a pre oh, he needed to go prep, but he didn't. He's a survivor zombie, right? Wait, are you still full HP? This is going to be a hectic. I need to make sure that that guy doesn't hit me because I don't want to get radiated right now. But I also need to make sure that my stamina lasts me. It's nighttime, so that's when all the... It's called darkness falls for a reason, guys. That's when all the tough zombies start popping out. The fact that he's so tough sh uh, says all. Melee attack, step back. Melee attack, step back. Oh my god, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Okay, he's gonna bleed out, thank you. I should probably on this dude. Use my... I wonder how fast he heals. That's fast. That's very fast. Come on, if you miss him, he heals almost instantly. So the more you hit him, the better. Oh, he heals fast. He heals so fast. I don't want to use my... Molotovs right now. Only when we get encumbered or... Oh, Feral Gangster. Yeah, but I don't want to focus too much on, like, the tough zombies right now. If we have to waste the Molotov, that's going to be... Yeah, a waste. I don't want to waste it right now. There's definitely new zombies. Apparently, there's also new monsters in the game. I heard rumors when Darkest Falls was still in production for Alpha 20 that there's now a demon bear. And also apparently there's like titans or monsters or something as well. So I'm really worried at the moment what it's going to be like. But we need to kill these zombies for XP so I can't afford to shy away. Hello. Oh look at all those chickens. Okay, this dude's so messed up. I think for the radiator dude, if we can bleed him, he won't be able to regen as fast. And then we can focus on doing a bone arrow. What are you? Skater punk zombie. I love the new designs. I really, really love these new designs. Okay, stamina. If we can kill that radiator dude, set him on fire and stuff, that's gonna look so awesome for a thumbnail. But he's so far away, I don't wanna go for him right now. I just leveled up. Level 2. See, the key lies into killing as many zombies as possible. But you need to be so careful because there might be a few bosses that we're not ready for. Infected Doctor. You look nasty, dude. I'm gonna show me your head. There you go. You're definitely dead. There you go, there you go. I wanna kill these chickens. There's so much... Oh. There's a feral dude behind me. Okay, let's just focus on these two then. How did he get in there? It's a biker, dude. If he blows up those barrels, he might have a problem. Oops. I wonder if these guys also radiate you like in ways you care. Like if they get close to you, they do radiation damage. I don't know if that's solely a ways you care thing or also a darkest force thing. Nice, you're gonna bleed out. Now, stamina, stamina, stamina. You can see he's faster. I can hit him once with stamina. Okay, he's bleeding. Oh crap, 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 crap. He's not healing as fast as well. Come on, come on, come on. He's healing himself completely in this time. It's taking me to do this. Oh, come on, stamina. This might be impossible to kill him because he's healing himself so fast. You know what? I wonder if we got the XP for that just now. I didn't really check my belt. But see, the radiated zombies are now a real threat. They didn't used to be a threat in Alpha 19. So I'm going to have to reevaluate how I do this. We need to be level 10 to get our tool crafting to 2. We need a, cool a tool crafting at 2 to do the workbench as level 2. And as soon as we have level 2, then we can go for the tailoring workbench, get the medium, work uh, the medium backpack, and make some armor. Oh, they did a ton of damage already over here. Uh, I do feel like killing this dude for the meat. The fact that the uh, radiated zombies did so much damage just now without me even realizing they were here, that's a uh, cause for concern. And remember, all they require now in Alpha 20 is one gap like that. Since there's a gap on the wall, they can easily now get through. Let's just do that. 
Well, now that these is just gonna make sure that we don't have to worry about them inside. Welcome to Trader Joe's. I don't guarantee a thing. Except okay, so the barrels are like on this side. I want to quickly go check if that has some fuel in, but it doesn't really matter all that much. I think let's eat and drink and then just go looting. Oh man, these doors bugging out. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna drop all of this stuff. Drop all of this stuff. At least now we have a ton of leather, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about leather at all. Uh, we do have a bedroll upstairs. Yes, so we are safe. Now let's keep on going. Let's just. Oh yeah, food and water. We just need to keep going. We just wanna go and do our thing and see how far we can get. These don't give you food poisoning, but I know that these do, right? Yes, 20%. Ooh, 20%. Uh, I'll let's just eat the stuff I cooked then. And then drink a bit of this. I should probably keep my food and water on me, but we can't afford to have that much stuff on us right now. Although then again, we could actually put some stuff in our tool belt. But while we're out and about looting, we might be able to instead... Wait, does this fully up over time now? Does it fully up instantly? Oh, instantly. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to eat and drink until we're full. That's a nice thing. We don't have to wait for it over time. You can immediately see how much food and stuff you've eaten and uh, drunk. Drunk and eaten, yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, we need to just go out. I wanted to put my food and water here, guys, but that's two slots that we could then go and use just to put stuff when we're encumbered. So if we are encumbered by a few items, put them on your tool belt, and that solves your problem. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, so we run, uh, run into the radiator ones. Be careful of them. I should be able to make myself some scrap iron fire axes, right? Let's see. Fire axe. Fire axe. No, all of this stuff is still locked. But yeah, I can make myself an uh, orange one. Nice. Okay, so we have to be really, really careful when it comes to the radiator ones. Other than that, the normal zombies seem to be a piece of cake. And the nice thing is the radiator zombies glow so much, there's no way you can miss them. The only problem is we don't have any melee right now to kill them. So if we get stuck inside a POI, we are going to be screwed. There's definitely still zombies down there. They can't come for us. Okay, so we're just going to go down the block like this and hope for the best. Oh, radiated. What are you? What are you? What are you? Ah, uh, skate is on me and his HP is rather low. Okay, so oh, if a guy is this low, we can do this. We can do this. Hopefully set him alight quickly. And then we can do this. There's zombies behind us. Oh, crap. Nice. It's a shame you don't get your arrows back. Like, you can't pick them up after you're done. That would help us so much. I need to kill as many zombies as possible. That's the only reason I'm going for them right now. But at the same time, we have to be very, very careful of the radio ones around us. Like I said, yeah, look at that. You can see the radiation, uh, radiated zombies are super far away because they're radiated. I love this new effect. I don't know what's doing for lag. But yeah, other than that, we are former gangster. Former stripper. Are you going to blow up the car? That's not a stripper. That is not a stripper at all. The zombies on the ground over here are actually really bothering me. I can't tell whether I'm hearing them or hearing zombies coming for us. See, there's zombies over there as well. That is the manliest stripper I've seen. <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps there's male strippers. What the hell? Perhaps there's male strippers in the game as well now, so we shouldn't judge. Crap, I want to kill them with my stamina. Uh, I think let's go this way around. If it comes after us, that's a bonus. Yes, there you go. It allows us to just really get our stamina back while we focus on just him. It almost seemed like he wanted to run just now. That would have been bad. So far, I've noticed that uh, zombies don't run. So if he all of a sudden decides to run, we might just have to reevaluate this. Hello? I'm really glad we're not playing with Feral Sense on right now, guys. If Feral Sense was on, this might just be impossible. Especially with the radiated zombies. Hello, hello, hello. Let me just walk closer to you guys. If I run closer to you guys, I'm going to be out of stamina so fast. Failed prepper. I wonder how many new zombies are in the game. Oops. 
It's, re um, it's going to be really curious to see, or I'm really curious to see what other zombies are there. Because these new awesome zombies are cool, but what else? One of my subs actually showed me a picture of like a titan or monster. It's, it looks like a tentacle thing. Uh, and when I asked Kane, uh, Kane about the new zombies, he was like, oh, but he, he, he didn't mention that thing. He just mentioned titans or something like that. But I hope it's in the game. If there are titans in the game, it's going to be so much more difficult. Well, I don't know if they're called titans in this mod. No, in Wiz UK, it's titans, like huge ass zombies. But I think Darkest Falls is the same now. New bosses, new mini bosses. Okay. Finally done with these guys. Man, look at all these zombies. They're just strolling outside. They're going to show. Night time is the right time. <laughs> I don't know how many other guys have actually seen that video. That's a video. I think it was like on... I, not iTunes. There's a radio thing that you can download on your computer. I think it's iTunes. Huh? Anyways, there was a radio station. That was one of the stuff that was there. Anyways, I digress. Let's just focus on the zombies. I need to be careful behind me. Imagine they destroy the barrel. It explodes and I'm dead. So far, the loot has been utter crap. So I'm really hoping we get some better stuff soon. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, I hope antibiotics not that bad. I wanted to say all, oh, but that's not really that all. Oh. Okay, so there might be vultures over here. I need to be careful of that. Let me just see like this. He's on spawning late. See, vultures and stuff can easily spawn in late because if there's a glitch like there was at the trader, then we have a problem. Just walk on top over here. Do I have some bones on me? Yes. Okay, so, so far so good. I mean, we've had a few close calls, but other than that... Close calls in the sense that I run out of stamina. <laughs> other than that, so far I've been re doing really, really, really well. I wanted to pre-record the whole week's episodes, guys, but I've been so lazy and tired, and I've been sleeping the whole weekend. So... Hello? Um, so yeah, I'm recording these two, and then during the week, I'll record the rest of the Darkest Falls episodes. And also, I can get your guys' input on the episodes, tips, tricks, glitches, and stuff. Like this visual glitch, if I can get that sorted, that'd be awesome. What's up here? It's used... Okay, so this place is really not that worth it. What is this? Okay, there's a downstairs. That might be worth it. As long as you don't get stuck downstairs, I'll be happy. Climb the ladder. Over here. Over here. Okay, uh, it seems like it's only him. Let's just focus on his head quickly. There you go. His arm glitching through the ground just now. I thought it was something moving down there. That would have been kind of creepy. <laughs> nice. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Where does this lead to? Oh, nowhere. That's a nice thing about Darkest Falls, guys. Look at this. Looking for treasures and stuff has always been super, super easy in this mod. I mean, it's a bit cheaty being able to glitch through the ground. But it's still cool that you're able to do so. Get a nice view of your surroundings before you have to do anything. Okay, all of this is shut, 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 locked. We barely made any progress during the night, but it's all because we just had to focus. Nothing up top, right? We had to focus so much on the killing of zombies just to level up just now. It's insane. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And nothing else up here. So far, I remember guys, in Alpha 20, it's uh, heavily to do with your game stage and stuff like that. So at the moment, since we are, our game stage is actually rather low, we are not going to get that much of a challenge. Although I'd say so far, the radiant zombies are a super challenge. The fact that even the, the bike one, for example, if I didn't have the explosive on me, I don't think I'd been, I been would have been able to kill him. So we're going to have to find weapons as soon as possible. And the headshots are going to be our friends. I think if we can kill a radiator one, or shoot him at least once, before he notices us, we'll be able to do way, way more damage. 
Because the fact that we slowly but surely have to take it down with a bow and arrow, that's just not going to work. Man, what level am I right now? Level 2, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, at least this killing of zombies at, at during nighttime really helped us a lot. So that's something we're going to have to focus on doing a lot. Just kill, 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 and hope for the best. Okay, this is scrap iron bolts. We'll keep this one. I don't have any wood, do I? Oh, I do. See, the more I can make myself some arrows of here, the better it's going to be for us. I need to make 11 more of this and 11 more of this one. That's going to be 22 and that's going to be enough over there. Okay, medical supplies, I should probably keep this on us. So when we get infected, we can immediately use it. But it's cured 10% infection, so we don't have to worry that much. And if, for example, 5% infection, that we might be able to keep with us. But with a limited inventory like this, I really don't want to keep too much stuff on us at the moment. Otherwise, we're going to have too much problem later with the amount of stuff. We're going to be encumbered the whole time. Okay, so guys, I think we're doing really, really, really well. Unfortunately, the trader for? and her only reset on, like, day Goodbye. 6. But hopefully by then, we have our own guns and stuff. We can also make our own pipe guns. Pipe pistol, pipe shotgun. It's going to be crappy quality, but at least it's something. I'm actually thinking of going for the pipe machine gun right now. Although the pipe rifle, if you can do a headshot properly, that might be the answer to our problems. So I think I'm going to call the episode here, guys. Um, if you have any tips or uh, comments, just please leave them below, like I said. Um, I don't mind spoilers as long as you're not a backseat gamer. That's the big issue I have. But other than that, um, I really welcome the tips and tricks and stuff. Remember, this mod has changed so much since Alpha 19, so I don't know. I'm not an expert on it anymore. I want to become one again, so if you guys have tips, leave it down below. If you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. Um, and yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let me start over. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, share with your friends. Any comments, tips, or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. Oh, I just realized something. Well, oh, but I can't get level 2 because I need to be level 10. Oh, yeah, damn. Anyways, see you guys next time. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.